What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today playing in qualifying final number one at Amy Park against the top seed Storm and that is not a good start. In touch on the full by I think it was Chris Sando which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, last episode we found out that we were, well, that we finished fourth um, due to, I think it was points differential actually that, uh, that made us fourth. So pretty happy with that considering I guess how the Eels have been perceived in recent times. You know, they have struggled I guess since Jared Hain left for the NFL. Even before he left they were still a side that, you know, did, did struggle a little bit. So um, it's good to see them back in the top eight. Obviously in the top four is even better. And um, if we lose this game, if it goes by the real NRL structure, we should get a lifeline if we uh, if we do happen to lose. So it would be nice to go and pick up the win, get the week off, if, as I said, they do it that way, um, which I'm guessing they will. Ooh, that's good. I don't know how I didn't play at that, but we didn't play at it. We're at tackle zero. Let's go, Eels. Come on, boys. Oh, Junior Paula. I don't actually know if it was Junior Paula, actually. I'm, I'm not going to say that because I get the names wrong and you guys give me such a hard time about it. So I'm going to try and... I think that was Junior Paul, though. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy, I must say, with, with how things have panned out. Um, the Dally M's were awarded. I think Red Radra was... Uh, he won the Dally M. He was the top try scorer as well, 25 tries, which is pretty impressive. He... Well, I mean, between him and Will Hopawati, that's basically where all our tries have come from. Um, you know, we definitely like to go and, I guess... Uh, use the wingers wherever possible. They are really the strength of the seal side that we have. So, um, you know, you may as well play to your strengths, and that's what we have done this season. Um, Corey Norman, I think, was top point scorer with, I can't remember how many you get. Tim, oh no. Oh, it's going to hold up. Brilliant. I thought that was going to be terrible and it was going to go dead in goal. The prop, it was given to the prop. He was that first receiver. What he was doing there is beyond me, but, you know, we won't complain too much. Cooper Cronk just broke through. I don't know who that was in the first tackle, but just broke through someone in the first tackle with ease and then ran over the top of someone else. I mean, he's a little fella, Cooper Cronk. Yes, he is agile, but just to run over players like that with ease? I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Um, and I'm just trying to think what else there was. Like when it, Oh, when it came to the team of the year, we had a lot of players in the team of the year as well, which I'm happy with as well. Robinson, keep that in. Well done. Well done, Reese Robinson. Reese Robinson, I think, was uh, fullback of the year. Red Radger, wing of the re uh, year, sorry. Bo Champion, centre of the year. Um, Corey Norman got 5 eighth of the year. And I think Luke Edwards got lock of the year. So we had like four players in that um, team of the year, which I was very happy with. Four or five players um, is a very good, very good pull. This has been a good defensive display so far. From the storm, they finished as a minor premiers for a reason. Obviously, they can go and defend. They can play well, um, and that's what they're doing today. Oh crap! We're on the fourth. Jesus. Right. Let's let's not go to Tim Manor this time. Oh, Norman, come on, man! I was just talking you up before, just saying how good you were playing, and then we go and concede the handover. It's real weird, like there was, I don't know why, I'm pretty sure there was a, a handover not too long ago for me, and it was just a normal handover, like we just played played through our six, we tackled on the fifth, and um, for some reason, oh that'll do, that will do nicely, for some reason it reset to zero, maybe it was actually um, a situation like that where there was a handling error. Trying to get that man, trying to get that Dally M winner, Rad Radra, on the ball. Trying to get him involved early on in the game and just get something going for us. Because we just can't seem, we just can't seem to break the line at the moment. We're trying, but it's just not happening for us. We just can't quite get those offloads away, can't quite get those passes away that we need to. But, um... You know, we're not doing too bad considering we started with the absolute howler from Chris Sando, obviously, in touch on the full from the kickoff. And um, coming up to tackle, we'll tackle four, actually. We just aren't, we're just not gaining yards. Like, we're defending well. We're keeping the storm down, um, you know, inside their territory, which is good. It's what we want. Oh, the strip was on there. Come on, champion. That would have been amazing field position. 
because um, I just realized I was going in and kicking that down, hoping uh, that we would get possession again in this first half, but probably not going to be the case now um, with only a minute and a half left remaining. So we just got to make sure that our defense stays solid. Drop the fullback and the wingers back. We're going to, oh, we're going to have one opportunity. We're going to have one chance to run it up. Ooh. I was going to say, we've just got to be careful. We don't want to do anything too silly like we almost did there and concede a try right on the stroke of half time. So nil-nil going into the break. Um, we'll be happy with that. We did have the win behind us in that half. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the second period with that wind not in our favour. Just can't seem to quite get those balls away. Like the, you just, They just need, need to go. Oh, Pete's. Here we go. Now we're getting the offloads going. Oh! Big Will Hopawati with a huge fend. And the goose step. And under the black dot, Will Hopawati with the big fend gets away. Finally, we get a bit of width into our attack. We just get things going. And with that, that has opened up. It's allowed us to score the first try of the game. Corey Norman carrying on his impressive form with the boot this season and just scoring tries in general, I guess. Um, but 6-0 now to Para, and that's what we've wanted to see. It's just those just those offloads have just been... They just haven't quite been there. And now we've got them. Another big fend. Is that Billy Slater? Twice now that Will Hopawati has given the old Fifi... Well, no, I'm, what am I saying? Fifi fo fum The big fend. Ooh, Sando just can't release that ball. Just can't get it away. Oh, God. Oh, good gap. Edwards running into some good space. This is good. Playing now. Are playing, are playing now. Of course we're playing now. Playing well now, the Eels are. Those offloads that just weren't happening in the first half have really started to come alight. And um, we are making some good meters here now. This is it. We had the numbers. Had the numbers. 75 metres gained. I was going to say, if we can work this to the blind side, actually. Oh, I've done it again. Just should go for the chip rather than going for the grubber. I was just trying to work the grubber in behind. And um, I guess just put a bit more pressure on. Oh, see, it's good. We just need to... All we need to do now is just play smart footy. I mean, we've got the lead. If the Storm do go and score, yes, I mean, they, they were the minor premiers. So, obviously, they've done something right throughout the season. Um, and we've just... I mean, like, we made that one mistake early on from the kickoff, the very first play of the game. But since then, we've been solid. Solid in defence. We've completed our sets. We haven't really gained, I guess, uh, too many metres. Uh, on a lot of those sets, but defensively we've been very good as well. I mean, there's another set that we've only conceded 17 meters, and um, the kicks today haven't been the greatest from the storm. Big Will Hopawati with another fend. That is his third of the game. And I think it was on Billy Slater again. Oh, Crooks! Ooh, taken down. Was that Billy? It was Billy. Billy the Kid. He said, no, nah, I've been fended enough in this game, thanks. This is tense. This is actually really tense. Pete's doesn't pass the ball. I don't know why sometimes from dummy half, they just don't seem to do that for me. Oh, we should really be working this back infield. Norman, get back in the pocket. Corey Norman, you beauty. There is a reason you're the top point scorer, and that's because you have been explosive from the halves this season. 7-0, and that gives us quite a bit of breathing room as well. I mean, the Storm now have to go score a try. Well, they have to score twice, really. Um, oh, Pizzi, you fool! You bloody fool, Pizzi! Oh, my goodness. I am so relieved that I took that field goal. Pete, what were you doing? Just had, He's had a... Who's the guy? Who am I thinking of? I can't even remember the guy who did it now. Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt for the Broncos. He's done a Ben Hunt for the Broncos. Oh, my goodness. Not quite off the kickoff. You know, not directly off the kickoff. Off an offload, but, you know, same thing. We're just going to have to defend well now. I think if we can defend well this set 
and just really try and slow it down um, when we have the football. I think we w we could potentially run down the clock. Oh no. Oh no, don't do this to me! It's not even Cooper Cronk! I was saying it was Cooper Cronk all game and he's having an amazing game and it's not even Cooper Cronk. Some young guy I've never heard of. Oh god. And now we're down by five. I should not have taken that field goal. Taking that field goal is probably the worst thing I could have done. We've got to get the ball back. We're going to probably have one more set at them. We've missed a lot of tackles today. It's been a wee bit of our downfall, I guess. There's another one. We've missed two in this set already, and we're only in the third tackle. It's not good. Come on, boys. We just need... We just need a good set. We've had a good defensive set. Oh, five. There's five to go. Oh, my goodness. What are we doing? We've, been, we've played so well throughout the entire game. And then it's just turned to crap. It's turned to custard right at the end. We can't get those offloads away. It's what we needed. It's what we needed earlier in the game. We just couldn't get them going. Come on, Will. Come on, Will! You beauty! Oh! At the death! Will Hopawati does it for us. He didn't need the big fin today. He just ran around them. We still need this kick, the kick to come. And Norman slots that one over. That field goal from Norman, how important is that going to be now? Just 30 seconds left. All we need to do is catch the football, hit it up, and we are going to be making it in. What a relief. The Eels get up last gasp winners against the minor premiers, the Melbourne Storm. So that means hopefully now we are going to go straight through um, to the semifinals. So we have the week off, which is going to be good. Not really the week off because we're just going to go and obviously next Saturday bring you the next game for the Eels. We'll quickly go and see if we can see who it is against. Um, actually, no, we don't have time for that. We are going to wrap things up here. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links to that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys are having a good weekend tomorrow. Make uh, Sorry, a good weekend so far. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. There we go. For a double upload. Cricket Coach at lunchtime. Uh, Wellington Phoenix career mode in the afternoon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.